I was a beginning farmer, uh, grew up in Vermont, uh, had shown cattle in the uh, county fair, dairy cattle for my uncle, but 40 some odd years later, here I was uh, embarking on a farming career. I knew that I could sell the beef, but I had to learn how to raise the beef. John and Sylvia Benarski own and manage Sherwood Acres Farm, a 50-head belted Galloway beef operation in Oldham County, Kentucky. Uh, our district conservationist, Kurt Mason, uh, been with NRCS for almost 40 years now. He told me that the things that I did on my farm were going to affect my neighbors, were going to affect my community, and since Herod's Creek uh, is a tributary to the Ohio River, going to affect the water source of metropolitan Louisville. And, uh, over the years, it's almost kind of haunted me to the point where I'm maybe a little overprotective, uh, if you can be. And so uh, we've implemented uh, everything from uh, this shallow stream crossing to uh, winter feeding pads to watering systems. Uh, our cattle never go in uh, the pond or the creek. Uh, we do have city water here, and we've run water throughout our pastures with fountains. John had limited farming experience, so he looked to the local Cooperative Extension Service office for help. He participated in the Master Cattleman Program and began to develop a conservation plan for the farm. You know, as a beginning farmer, the cost share programs were very important to me. Not so much the monetary end, but the teaching end. Um, you know, we knew we wanted to do things right. We knew we wanted to protect the water and the forest and, 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 and all of the environment. And so uh, going through those programs, we not only learned how to do them right, but we did get some assistance. The Ag Water Quality Plan uh, kind of came to the front a few years ago uh, as a lot of agencies were requiring that that uh, be a part of uh, your cost share uh, approvals. And uh, when I did it, you know, for this farm uh, a number of years ago, it was really kind of an eye-opener. You know, there were things in there that uh, were questions that I was, wasn't sure I knew the answer to, and, and I had to find out those answers. And uh, that really helped me put together, um, you know, some things on the farm that I hadn't thought about, uh, important things. With the help of his local conservation district, John developed a Kentucky Agriculture Water Quality Plan that included practices such as alternative watering systems, an improved stream crossing, and rotational grazing. He utilized cost share programs to install conservation practices that help him protect the water quality of Harrods Creek. It's a very competitive market today, whether you're beef farming or crop farming, and these best management practices really help you perform. Sherwood Acres Farm has been recognized by the Oldham County Conservation District, the Kentucky Association of Conservation Districts, and the Kentucky Cattlemen's Association for outstanding resource management. In 2013, they received Kentucky's inaugural Aldo Leopold Conservation Award, a prestigious award for landowners exemplifying the land ethic of leaving their land better than they found it. And when you look at the things that Leopold did, you know, back in the Dust Bowl days and, you know, the environmental stuff, I mean, people thought he was a little bit crazy uh, that he was thinking about protecting the environment back in the 30s, and early 40s, uh, before he passed away. And, um, you know, some of the things he did just really mirrored thoughts that I had about the environment and what needed to be done to, to protect it. I mean, you know, we're not making any more water and we're not making any more forest and, you know, we have to protect them. You know, the, to be selected was, I mean, it was amazing. Uh, some a, a pinnacle in life that, you know, some people compare the, the Leopold Award and because of what it represents environmentally to the Nobel Peace Prize and you know to even think about that is just staggering. Beyond work on the farm, John and Sylvia advocate for good agricultural practices among other farmers, especially among livestock producers. They truly believe in doing what is right for the farm and what is right for the soil and water. You know animal welfare is a big deal uh, and on top of that the big bonuses were protecting the environment. And that's part of the drive and the motivation is you know that new project or that next uh, best management practice that's going to help the environment. Those are things that, you know, are really important to us. To learn more about developing and implementing a Kentucky Agriculture Water Quality Plan for your farm, contact your local conservation district, Cooperative Extension Service office, or visit our website.